Hello, beautiful. I'm Blythe Stevens, MFA Bliss Catalyst and founder of A Blythe Coach, dance education and coaching to move through life with balance, grace, and power. I thought since we are approaching the autumnal equinox, the transition from summer into fall, and that is a really rich and loaded time for our yoga practice and also for our dancing and our very lives, that I would share with you a bit of an equinox meditation, if you will, to inspire your practice as we transition to the next season. I invite you to find a comfortable seat, either on a yoga block, which is what I'm sitting on to today, a cushion or onto your bare floor. We want to make good contact with the sit bones and our seats. We might want to move some of the seat up, out, and away to create a nice solid base and foundation. And that's the sensation that we are looking to create as we transition a sense of rootedness, a groundedness, and earthiness as we navigate change and Yes, loss and grief and release and some things falling away, but then also on the other hand, harvest and bounty and accomplishment and celebration on the other. So there's really a balance between these two elements, sort of a paradox inherent in this time of year. We're harvesting and celebrating and feasting and also releasing, letting go, um, and inviting change into our lives. This reading is from the book Chakras and Self-Care, and they provide a whole fall equinox ritual, but I'm just going to read a little bit from that. Quote, the fall equinox symbolizes balance and order, and as we welcome the season of fall, this equinox asks us to be grounded and rooted and to bring balance and order to our lives as we embrace the final few months of the calendar year. We're invited the day before the fall equinox to take some time, journal, and reflect on what we might like to release or let go of during this time, what can literally fall away with the new season, what is outdated, decaying, or dying, and what can we also add into our lives to bring more order and balance? So reflect now with eyes closed or with a soft focus just on what's immediately coming to your mind in terms of what you want to or need to or are being invited to release, let go, and part with, and then what also you might want to bring in to support, to shore up, to nurture, to nourish. And you could take a time to, to journal and record this as a list or as a, a free flow of thought. And then you can also take action on those items later if you choose to. Then on the day of the fall equinox, we're invited to take a mindful walk to go outside in nature, connecting with the natural world and with our senses, noticing what changes, either very obvious or perhaps more subtle, are happening in the color and the leaves and the temperature of the air, the smells, the sights, all the changes of the season be with all of it with mindfulness and intention. We can create a space where we're diffusing really grounding, centering, root chakra essential oils. The suggested ones are frankincense or sandalwood, but you could take any scent that really feels like early fall and like rootedness and groundedness to you and use those. And other ones are ginger and cinnamon. Or you could bring that sense to you through a cup of tea or something that contains those elements, those scents, those flavors. 
some other flavors and, and nurturing sensations that we might try are root vegetables, literally bringing that rootedness, that flavor, and the color of the season into our lives. Fall is a time to fall into alignment and balance, to be grounded by taking care of the basics, to enjoy the beauty of the changing landscape and our lives, and to trust this energy process. I also wanted to share a poem by Herman Hesse. He says, quote, O autumn leaf, be still and yield. When the wind wants to take you away, do not resist, be a player in the game. Surrender to the dancing changes. Let yourself be broken, seized, and blown to your next home. I hope you are celebrating all of your accomplishments in the last season and in quarter three that you are able to complete or let go of anything that's incomplete in your life, that you're able to find the sense of groundedness and balance, as well as celebration. And I wish you a wonderful full moon, autumnal equinox, and fall season. Namaste. For more grounding, centering, and dynamic yoga practices, check out my Holy Yogalicious playlist. I have everything from pose-specific practices to flowing sequences, both short, five to 10 minutes, and full length, hour or more. I've written articles too on meditation and reflective practice as well as journaling and contemplation and more at ablifecoach.com. Until next time, take care. I'll see you soon.